Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'll be doing a video on pretty much hits and misses that I've been trying and loving and not loving over the past couple of months. So first off, I wanted to talk about some hair products that I have been absolutely loving. And the first item is the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. I'm sure you guys have seen this all over YouTube already. I got this maybe a couple of months ago. This is the 8.5 fluid ounces and it's just like a white, creamy, pearly kind of conditioner and it smells absolutely amazing you guys so I've been loving this because this really does help condition your hair um, my hair always tingles up on me and when I use this the tingles disappears this is a bit pricey I think it was like $35 at Ulta so I try not to use too much of it you're supposed to use this twice a week which I just do twice a week no more and no less Another hair product that I have been absolutely loving is the Joico K-Pack Deep Penetrating Reconstructor for Damaged Hair. I've had like ombre hair for quite a while and then when I had like just had one solid color, my hair was just super dry and breaking on me and I was just getting split ends. So then I, when I started using this, I basically just used a little bit of this and put it at the end of my hair. It has left my hair a whole lot softer, it doesn't have that much breakage, and the split ends, they've come a lot less. If you guys haven't tried out, I really recommend it if you have dry, damaged hair that you've been bleaching for a while. So I've got two hair products samples from Sephora recently, and it is the AG Hair Cosmetics BB Cream Total Benefit Hair Primer. I also got the Josie Morin Argan Oil. And it comes with a little drop that you can just use this droplet to control the amount of oil they want to use on your hair. So I've just pumped this onto the palm of my hand and um, rub it all over my hair. And then I'll use the argan oil and just use it for the ends of my hair. And it just left my hair super soft and easier to comb. And I've just been loving them. I don't know if you guys have tried out the Olay Regenerous Advanced Anti-Aging cream cleanser but I have just been loving this product I think I've tried this out a couple of years back and then um, I stopped using it and then I just got it recently and fell in love with it again this is just a regular cleanser it has like little small red beads all around it and this is like a gentle exfoliator for your face if you don't exfoliate your face I really recommend that you do just because you have so much stuff on your face like makeup that's left on there even after you wash your face there's still a little bit of residue left and if you've got like oil you've got like dead skin stuff that just packs on on your face so what I really recommend is this exfoliator because it's really gentle you can use it every day and I've been using it and loving it because it made my face a lot clearer cleaner and brighter and I don't really break out as much so yeah if you haven't checked it out yet I really recommend that you do Lately, I have been loving the Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara and this is in the color 983 Carbon Black. The reason why I love this mascara so much is because the wand is just so unique and so small that I'm able to go into like my eyelashes, the very small ones, and dig in and really curl it or like darken it up with the color black. With all the other mascaras that I've had, they don't have a small wand like this, so it's hard to really go into those mascara into your um what is it into your eyelashes and really coat them so I've been really loving this a lip product that I have been really loving is the electric pink matte lipstick by Smashbox and it's just a nice bright electric pink color like it's the name it's a matte finish but it doesn't make your lips drying at all it's almost like a velvety matte kind of um kind of finish the reason why i love it so much because basically summer spring is all hair and it's just a nice bright pink that i think anybody with any skin tone can rock i am like a medium oh i have like a medium skin tone color and i am an nc30 for those of you who are wondering so another lip product that i have been absolutely loving is the Revlon Colorverse Matte Balm and this is in the color 240 Striking Spectacular and I actually have this on my lips today and I've just been loving it. It's this nice, a perfect bright red bright color with a hint of orange. It's perfect for Sun Renata's hair. I think I am probably one of the last person to try these out and I absolutely love this color. So I just got this recently but then this is the 
Chanel Chance perfume and I gotta ask like an early birthday gift from my sister. I have just been superly obsessed with this perfume. It's like my new favorite perfume. I think it went with her to Macy's a couple of weeks ago and um, I actually smelled a sample of this and um, fell in love with it. It smells like fresh spring with flowers everywhere in your room and it smells clean. It's not too overwhelming or not too girly. It's just like perfect. So if you haven't tried it out yet, do go check it out. This is, again, Chanel Chance. It comes in a circle bottle like this, and it's got like a hint of pink or lavender color to it. But I absolutely love it. So moving on to products that I did not like or did not work for me. Again, this is just my opinion, and I hope it doesn't offend you if you like these products. I really didn't want to talk about these products just because I don't like bashing on any of these items, but I do want to share with my fellow people out there in case you guys decide that you guys want to get it in just for whatever reason I don't know but let's just get started so first item I want to talk about it is this product by Clinique there are three items in this there is the seven day scrub cream exfoliator and then there is the even better skin tone correcting lotion with SPF of 20 and then lastly it has the even better clinical dark spot corrector which looks like this so this retails for about fifty dollars i wanted this because i wanted to basically have a product that was going to help make my skin tone a lot more even so i used this for over over two months i believe i just pump it all, all over my face and then i will use the lotion over my face because you're supposed to protect your face from the sun once you use any kind of product that is going to help brighten up your face and then I used the exfoliator when I was in the shower. After using this for over two months, I honestly can say that I felt like it didn't do anything for my face at all. I didn't see anything. I felt like it didn't correct any discoloration on my face, like around my mouth area, underneath my eyes, and I actually had like this little acne thing around my cheek for a while and it didn't even go away. Another item that I did not like for myself was the L'Oreal Paris Ideal Moisture Even Tone. 48 hour hydration day lotion when I first got this I tried it out and it just made my face super oily if you open this up it's got like a weird kind of salmon kind of color anyways which wasn't appealing at all and the smell smells kind of like old granny makeup I gave this like another shot and I tried it like the next day and it still did the same thing it just made my face super oily and I just felt nasty and dirty so I stopped using this so the next item that didn't work for me is actually a liner and it is the Marc Jacobs magic marker precision pen and the color blacker this was actually one of my holy grail liner for like about almost a month and then the moment it started breaking down on me I hated it this actually retails for $30 and an ex a liner this expense should be able to last longer than a month. After using it into like two and a half weeks of this, it started breaking down on me. Like the tip of it just started falling apart and I would have to fight every day with this liner just to get a nice wing liner. And so I do not like it and I will not be repurchasing this liner again. So another product that didn't work for me is actually the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eye Pencil and the color 01 black is black it looks almost like the Marc Jacobs felt tip but this tip is just way too hard I couldn't even draw a liner onto the top of my lid just because it was that hard to draw it was just tough and I was like tugging on my eye and it started to hurt and it just didn't work for me so I will not be using this again so that was pretty much my hits and misses for the past couple of months I hope you guys enjoy those items that I raved about again those are just my opinion i wanted to do a gift back to my subscribers because i have finally reached 100 subscribers and that was my first milestone so my giveaway is going to be the meet your match kit that i got at sephora and basically it's got a purple nail polish by nails ink with a purple lip gloss and then it also comes with a lip brush and it's got a like a nudie pink stain gloss test tube by Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics and then it's got like a creamish kind of color uh, Formula X nail polish and below it it's got a curly pink Derba Lemon nail polish and then right below that is a Tarte Lip Surgeon's lip tint in the color Elite 
So all you gotta do to win this item is be a subscriber to my channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video and then also comment below um, that you want to be entered into the drawing. And that is pretty much it. Besides that, I will see you guys next time and thank you guys for watching. Bye!